Happy Wednesday, people. Today's video is a little breakdown on a glowworm, but the main point of the video is looking at the EPH CP4 eye control, which, to be fair, I'm a convert. It's a smart version. You can't actually see the smart gateway bit just because it shows you all the customer's details. Um, maybe I'll do another video on that with like a mock trial address and whatnot, but yeah, hopefully a good video. Hopefully show you something a little bit new or a little bit different and you get something out of it. So we're at this glowworm. It needs a new food duct, low water pressure sensor. And putting in a CP4. Don't forget, let's try push to that 1K by Christmas. Really appreciate it. It's been a maybe six month journey. So that'd be a nice little end to the year. Um, really appreciate everyone who's been here, supported everyone who comments, good or bad comments, even if we've had a little, little ding dong, shall we say. Um, it's all in love and, and good nature and whatnot. So yeah, let's try to get there. Anyway, on to the job. Now, this disconnected, there's a few screws underneath. We can pull this out. Clean that PRV off in a minute. Actually, let's change the pressure sensor first. New ones in, stupidly pressed the wrong button, so it stopped filming. But it's easy push fit. Pull out, push in. Cable goes back in the same place. There we go. So here we got the EPH CP4i M bar. That's the app that you use. And inside, we've got instructions. We've got the transmitter itself, which is your temperature sensor. Pretty standard. I'm actually waiting for doors to come with my logo on. So I have my logo and then my details on the inside. So they should be coming soon. And you've got your Wi Fi gateway which connects to the customer's hub. It just needs a mains plug, which they provide the adapter. They provide batteries for the transmitter, there's your receiver, and they provide the cable. So that just plugs in anywhere, goes to the mains. Got various stands and wall plates and whatnot, depending on how you want to fit that. So I will show you in here. Once you take this off, this little shield off, just got your standard neutral live. Two is your common, one is your switch live on, back to the boiler. So simple as that really. Let's wire it in. So you can pick where you want the wire to enter from. It's got a little as you can push out there top bottom and usefully both sides
So there we have it, that's all in, powered up. And all we need to do is put the batteries in the receiver. there, the auto pair, flash, 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 and then I just got to follow, fit this, this will connect again, if you buy it all in a pack together, it auto pairs, and then follow the bits on the app, which I can't show you because it has a customer's details, so I'm sure they don't want that on YouTube, but yes, yeah, pretty straightforward once you download the Ember app. So there you have it. I'm a big fan of them controls. They've been really good over the last month, fit five or six. I'm really happy with them. They connect really easily. Customers are all happy with them, so massive win in my books, and boiler was restored back to normal. Let's try to get that 1K by Christmas. Really appreciate it, we're really ne nearly there. So thank you, see you next week.